welcome everyone. Like nation. In a video back again with another black and white reaction for you guys. So you guys wanted us to do this one. Usually we would do this. You know, I lost my train of thought, but whatever. Usually we would do it on the day it came out yeah. or with our last recording, or we would post it on a Thursday for yeah. Creek Squad Day. But this one, this one's a little bit That's different. So this is going to be a reaction slash discussion yes, for us. And this is the longest song I've seen Struggle do. He, he's doing it with uh, Caitlin, Caitlin Curtis. Curtis. I, believe that's his, I believe it's his daughter. I believe so, yes. So, and it's uh, God, We Need You Now. This is going to be a conversation. This is definitely going to be a conversation. <laughs> That's why we're definitely doing it for Sunday. Yeah. So we know Creek Squad, you guys usually would be seeing this one on a Thursday. Probably thought you would be seeing it on Thursday with the Savannah Dexter one. But now nah, we decided to push this off to Sunday for our yeah. discussion days. So um, let's, just, let's just get into this because this is probably going to be a little bit of a discussion. Yep. So. And as you guys just were warning you guys now, there's probably going to be pauses throughout as we talk and oh, dissect definitely. what's going on. So definitely. just be patient with us. We'll, we'll, we're going to react to the whole video, guys. We, we are. We're going to get to it. We don't need people saying, what are you pulling? It's a reaction yeah. slash discussion, first off. Those who know, those who are been rocking with the strong, y'all know what we be doing. You know what's up. If you're new here, sorry, just uh, stick with it, get to the end, and maybe uh, you'll agree or disagree with us. But either or, but, let's just uh, get into it. Let's hit it, man. It's kind of like from the Eminem video. Mm -hmm. I like that. God, we need you now. Okay. Something like that is walking down the street. I ain't gonna mess with them. I'm probably gonna turn around. Me? You know. I'm not gonna attack them. I'm not gonna sit there and call them racist or they anything. They got some like bulletproof vests that you're looking like. What? It looks like that the symbolism is that they're going to fight for America. I respect the symbolism of this. I was, I'm joking when I say Probably. I wouldn't. I have nothing to fear from these men because I love America. That's the way I'd be looking at these yeah. men, quite honestly. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're a little kid, that, that look a little intimidating. Oh, yeah, look, yeah, it would be. You see that walking down the street. But the symbolism to me from the video right now is that they're going to die for their country. Hey, yeah, man. God, we need you now. Don't medicate, just meditate. You waking up now, well, baby, you hella late. Educate, look at what's going on, let it resonate, accelerate. Find your inner hunger like you never ate. The agenda is to push the hate, separate and segregate. Don't celebrate quite yet, the storm is coming to you for Separate okay, he's saying a lot already. Yeah, he is already getting Wait, in. Okay, okay. Dude, the symbolism with the strings attached to the girls yeah. is they're being in puppets. Yeah. I like father and daughter marching yeah. together. That's, that's pretty. Uh, but I mean, I right now, they're it, we're, we're we're heading back to the fifties. Right now, we were, people want to segregate. We're seeing online POC movements. I think it was the Berkeley College that tried to do a summit where if you're white, you couldn't be part of the conversation. And then they set up one for only people of white could go. That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, so what is? My God! Now in, in 2020, it doing? don't in 2020, it don't matter what color you are. Dude, Martin Luther King would be rolling in his grave right now if he saw some of the stuff that was you being know, said and going on. Even though Malcolm X was a little bit more aggressive in his message, he'd be rolling in the grave as well. He, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be with this. No, he, he would he not be. He would not be with people surrounding people's homes and burning it to the ground just because they support a certain candidate. Won't say his name because this will just get more suppressed even more because of YouTube. It don't matter who you support politically. At the end of the day, you should be able to exchange your ideas, shake your hand, and call him a friend. I mean, man, and if if you guys really just can't, people who just can't get to that level, if you really can't work with someone like that, then just don't talk to them. Okay, just. Stay away from I mean, him. Ian has said it before. Mind your business and stay home. You don't got to. Like, honestly, you, if you ain't nobody saying you got to love everyone. If you can't come and have a civil discussion, don't don't bother having a discussion. Yeah. If you're just going to sit there and scream and yell because you're not getting your way or someone doesn't agree with you, 
That's not being productive at all. And 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 as like stated by NF in his songs, I'm quoting him. I'm down with different opinions, but once you start talking ignorantly, yep. you lose my attention, man. A hundred percent. You lose my 100%. attention. hundred percent. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to work with you if you're going to come off cocky, arrogant, and ignorant. <laughs> I, I don't want to work with you. Everybody has their own ideas, and some ideas are not worth hearing. They are, some, not all ideas are worth hearing. If you're talking some crazy nonsense... Yeah. No, nah, you don't need to be bringing that to the table. You're better than another person. Yeah. I'm done. I'm, right. I'm nah, I got nothing to say to you. I'm not talking. And nothing to say to you if you think that automatically you're better than me. Yeah. Don't medicate, just meditate. Wait. I like that. Wait, don't medicate, medicate just, just meditate. Because so many people try to medicate to run from their problems. Yo, the symbolism of the girls on the, on the strings, like, oh, yeah. that's strong. Just, just being the yeah, puppet. Yeah, that's strong. Like, who's pulling the strings, really? Because, honestly, a lot of the young people these days. And yes, I am a young guy. I, I understand. Yeah. When I say I'm talking, I'm talking 16 to 22 year olds, 16 to 24 year olds, who are being indoctrinated and trying to be told what they need to believe instead of letting them use their own minds and yeah. think for themselves. It's kind of like, like honestly, the education system kind of does it to you in a way too. They, like the yep. textbook, the textbooks that they give you, they don't tell you the historical truth about everything. No. It's it's they telling tell you, you what they want you to know. Right. It's the same thing with today's media. They're not telling you the story. They're telling you a story. They're telling you what's making them money. What was it that you said before, Ian? What? If it bleeds, it what? Oh, yeah. If it bleeds, it leads. I learned. I literally was taught that in like high school. That's what they tell you. And it's that's ridiculous. No, we don't have journalism in this country anymore. There's very few journalists in this country right now. You can't just, listen to mainstream news. You can't listen to mainstream media. Man. And we haven't even gotten to Struggle the religious already, aspect of this. Struggle's too deep. Right? <laughs> what are we in? Like 15 seconds in? And Struggle's just going. Oh, man. And Caitlin, Caitlin hasn't even gone yet. You know now, well, baby, you have to lay, educate. Look at what's going on. Let it resonate. Accelerate. Find your inner hunger. No. Like you Same thing. Educate. Let it resonate. He's saying yeah. that. If you only... Pay attention to one cycle, one side. If all you do, even if you're a hardcore liberal, if all you do is watch CNN and think that that is the only picture that matters, you're ignorant. You're looking at one side. Put it this way. If you're, okay, I'm going to say this straight up. If you're a Democrat, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you're a Republican, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you refuse to work with the other side, you're not going to get anything done. No. Unless... I mean, we have a two-party system. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't have a two-party system and say, "Oh, we're only going to work within ourselves." Because you get what's going on in Congress right now. You like, get if you try to sit there and say we're ignoring the other side, you get what's going on right now where nothing's do, getting done. Both sides do it. Yeah, both, yes, they do. They, both sides do it. They're at so you can't say, "Oh, it's one side doing it more." So, neither side listens to each other. No. They all just not argue anymore. about who's more right or wrong. Yep. That's all they do. They used to work together. Not anymore. Honestly, I've seen there are kids who have mock trials in high school who have more productive conversations than our own Congress does. Yeah, which is sad. It's sad. It's sad right now. And that's true. Right okay. now, right now, they are trying. To desecrate the guy because people are being attacked for what they believe in. If you believe in God, if you believe in Allah, if you believe in uh, uh, is it Muhammad? If you believe Muhammad's in, the messenger, I believe. Right? If it was it is it uh, for Ju for Judaism? Is I I'm not sure. Is it Moses? I, it doesn't matter who you believe. You, you, who you believe in is who you believe, and that's core yeah. chest that you cherish to yourself. Oh, we also got to stop thinking. Oh, just because somebody's an atheist that they're evil. That's not that's, true. That is not true. That's at my all. point. I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, that's not. There's, true. Some people just don't have that faith, and yeah. that's fine. Some people have that faith, and that's what gets them through. Yep. But you shouldn't be attacking somebody just because they have faith in a god, or they don't have faith in a yeah. god. Some people just believe in straight up human human evolution. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yep. That is fine. To me, I think why can't you have both? Yep. 
You you, you like, can have both. Like, why get, you just gonna have but that's the problem when you get a whole bunch of people that think that their system is better. Exactly. And they're better than you for it. Yeah. That's what's wrong. To, so to like I don't I don't know everything about uh, the Judaism religion. I no. don't every don't know everything about being Muslim. But yo, my Muslim brothers, my Jewish brothers, and so all, I ain't got nothing no. wrong with what you believe in. That's, that's your own private. That's business. why on this channel we're trying to knock down door. Everyone is welcome here. Yeah. Until you do something to make it so you're not. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Jewish. I don't care if you're agnostic. I don't care if you're atheist. If you're a good person, I vibe with you. And if you can come with coherent arguments and not just attack, that's what we're here for. Yeah. That's what this channel is here for. We're exactly. trying to bring people together. Exactly. Because right now, technically, people would sit there and look at Ian and I and say, we shouldn't even be in the same room together. Yeah. Honestly. And that, that, that's a problem. That is a problem. Like, yeah, we, don't, like we don't agree on everything 100% the, the of the time. The it's not going to happen. The conversations that, like, Vito has in public, like, guys, it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Like, yeah. it's, it's bad, man. <laughs> and, I, I've, I've been called a racist because my girlfriend is Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> which makes that just logically it doesn't make any sense. You guys have no idea. The other way, See, a lot of people might understand what's going on behind the scenes, but a lot of people don't. Like, yeah, uh, uh, and then some of the comments that I've got is like, I just laugh because yeah. there's no logic behind. No, it. it's just a troll, internet trolls yeah. that are just trying to be or funny. The conversations that I have, whether it's people that I went to high school with or within my own family, it's like. Oh, I don't need to see you every day. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, that's the beauty thing of America. Everybody should be allowed to have their opinion exactly. stated. That's why we are the free. That's why no matter what anybody says, this is the best country yeah. in the world. This is the freest, yeah. most forgiving, most tolerant country in the world. And right now, the sad thing is the people that are becoming the most intolerant are on the far left. I'm saying the far left, not the left. I'm saying the far left. Yeah, and th th don't get me wrong, guys. We're not saying nothing, anything's wrong with the right, but you got far left, and then you got far right. Mm -hmm. You got evil people on both sides. Yeah, like, it you, don't matter which side. There's evil, evil people everywhere. That's right. They do feed you lies and manipulate. That is right. Because honestly, we're getting it from all sides. Mm -hmm. The educational system is manipulating. These professors aren't really showing what actually needs to be done. They're trying to push their own ideology on kids. Honestly, man, if it's... If Honestly, does America have dark history? Yes. But what you need to do is you need to teach kids the 100% like everything that Wait, happened. Quite honestly, yes. America might have a dark history, but we are the youngest country in the world. We have learned from our past quicker than any other country known to man. Show me a country right now in this country that is better. America's been around for what, 240 years or some shit? 260, whatever. It, I don't even know the exact number. It's, uh, we're a young, young country. Yeah. People are, will, are dying to get to here. You got Cubans that are trying to escape that socialism hellhole. Yeah. You got people that are trying to get across the Mexican border, just trying to have, get to this country so they have an opportunity. This is the land of opportunity. It always has yeah. been, and it always will be. And I'm if, not going to lie. Some of y'all do take that for advantage, advantage. Like, some people, it's just like, it's, it's entitled people. People forget. I, th I, think it, I think it was Benjamin Franklin that says, we are to have a republic if we can keep it. Mm, that was deep. We have a republic here if we can keep it. And trying to sit there and make sure, to, telling people that they're less than, it, it, depending on the color of their skin. And I'm not just saying white people saying it to black people. You got black people trying to tell whites that they're nothing. You, you, you guys, it, one man can't just bring everybody. Everybody got to work together. Or it's not going to work. It's, it's just not going to work. But trying to do fear and intimidation to get your point across is not the way to do it. Nah. Not the way to do it. Yo, struggle right now, man. Struggle, man. Just someone had to do this, though. For real. Someone had to say this, and I'm glad it's a guy like struggle. Let's hit it. Forcing us to sit and wait till we come together, congregate, and then we. Is that Yellow Wolf? 
That might that might have been. Is that Yellow Wolf? That actually, that kind of looks like him. That might be Yellow Wolf. The the guys, that, let us know in the comments below if that is. That, I think that's Yellow Wolf, man. Or it's his long lost twin or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Because he was supposed to work with them before and he backed out. Yeah, that that looks like Yellow Wolf, man. Anywho, hey. let us know. That's oh, right. We'll go back. Let him go back into that. That's Yellow Wolf. Yeah, praying that you give me the strength to find some love amongst the hate. For real, man. Because if you have nothing to believe in, your heart's just going to go cold. Oh, what's that saying? Stand for something or fall for anything. Yeah. Honestly. Yep. Stand for something. That's a great, great Ian, Stand right? That beautiful saying. Fall for anything. And, I'm not, and I'm, I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying this to be factual. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of people are gullible as hell, man. Yeah. You yep. really... And also, stop reading headlines. Read the whole article. Yep. Headline, that's all they're doing is try to grab you. 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 you didn't learn your whole lesson by reading four words. And anybody that tries to bring just headlines to an argument, you're going to get eviscerated. Yeah. You got, you, the important part is in the details. Dude, it's like the people that look at Ben Shapiro and call him a Nazi. I mean, he's Jewish. Yeah. I'm, do I agree with everything that Ben Shapiro says? No. no. You, do I don't, I I don't, hate, agree, I don't not, agree with everything he says. I'm not hating on the man. I don't no. know him personally, so what am I hating on him for? Yeah, exactly. Cut the grass till we see the surface. That's a bar. Cut the Yo. grass down till you see the surface. But honestly, that's true. Bella the bars. I know. It's a lot. It's a lot, Bella. Yeah, Bella's Bella's getting into this I one, guys. But know, that, that's Bella. true. You got to cut the grass to get to see so those serpents coming the grass, up, man. Because these snakes. That's another thing. You got to be careful who you're surrounding yourself mm -hmm. with. If you got people that are just surrounding you, trying to push their own agenda so, onto you. Listen, man. I mean, they can give you facts and let you make up your own mind. But if you got people that are saying you either believe this or I'm not going to hang out with you, that's not someone you want in your it's, life. That's not anybody you want in your life. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Everybody that everybody who loses friends because of their political beliefs, that's not a friend you needed in your life anyway. Yeah. I want her and Savannah Dexter in a song. Oh, uh, that is going to be her voice would go well with her. Oh I want my God! Caitlin Curtis and Savannah Dexter to do a song. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's fine. Definitely want them the together. Yo, she. Uh huh. That's puppet. She, she got the soul and the wrath, mm -hmm. man. She got it. She got it. But she's right, though. People are letting themselves be played for fools. Oh yeah, easily. Are when you believe in anything now. When you sit there and let the people just control how you move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. Truer words cannot be spoken, Caitlin. Jesus. All right. Okay, he got all his kids. Okay, nice. Nice. I know it's fun, but get ready to pay your See, some people do need to have God in their lives. They do need to have something to believe in. Yeah. To, to me, I think some people are, are religious because it's like sometimes life gets too hard and they just need something to believe in. Yeah. They, they, they just need something. It's right now, sometimes they need to have a little bit of that fear that if they keep doing what they're doing, they're going to end up in damnation. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a difference between religion and faith. Yes. There is a huge difference. Yep. I'm going to just say that right Big, now. big difference. And those who know, y'all, real people, y'all know what I mean. Yep. There is a huge difference. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh -huh. I know the truth is hard. 
hard to swallow, just digest it. Suspected something's going on, but chose to just neglect it. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. You, you. That was a bar and a half right there. Nah, because some people really, they get mad because the truth messes up their belief. Yep, because the truth goes completely against yeah. their entire belief system, mm -hmm. and it makes them think and challenge their own beliefs, and they can't take it. Yeah. They know, just can't take it to, that it actually is yeah. what it is. Like, don't get me wrong. You can, you can believe in what you want to believe in, but when someone tells you something that's just a scientific or it's just a freaking fact... Facts don't care. Mad at Facts do not care about your feelings. That's why I say there's a difference between there's a difference between religion and reality. Yep. You can believe in what you want to believe in, but don't don't get mad when something's right in front of your face mm -hmm. and you can't change it. You're mad because you, it's out of your control and you can't change it. Yep. So it's the same thing. But if see something is happening right in front of you and you're being told now that's not going on. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally happening in front of you, and you're saying, "Nah, that's not." Nah, that's and then nothing. someone's like, that, "But that's not." But it's 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 right there. But that's not happening. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, you can't you can't just do that. Because again, it shatters your whole world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Deflected by some breaking news. Oh, we just accepted. Expected just to fall in line and follow their perspective. Mm. Mm, again. Yeah. <sighs> Ian said it before, the breaking news headlines, I'm and people just want to accept it. No, it's okay. It's okay to look at breaking news, mm -hmm. but just because, like I said, just because you read a little six-word headline, don't mean you got the truth. It don't mean you know exactly what was said yeah. in that either. And also, if you, if truly to tell, to know what happened, if you weren't there, you don't know. Mm -hmm. If that's you true. didn't see it with your own eyes, you truly don't know. But if there's video proof of something that's going on. That, that's true. Question their objective, but I got a lot of questions. How these kids molested, but nobody's been arrested. Mm. Yeah. You know, like what gets me is I've seen like documentaries when it comes to like the sex trafficking and stuff, and it always comes out, oh, about 1.3 million peak kids or something are trafficked in the United States. I'm like, if this many kids are trapped, like how come you can't find the people doing this? If you got that many kids, mm -hmm. dude, the but whole you can't find the people doing it. Yeah, is it just like you don't care? Money, money like, is the one of the things. It's the root of all evil. That's why I say someone's getting paid off. Mm -hmm. Someone's getting paid off to look the other way. Look how long a certain person was able to maneuver and work in the high estate for as long as he was before he didn't kill himself. How long was he able to move around and get things done? I mean, shit, look at R. Kelly. How long they let him get, all, get away with it? Oh, we just accepted. Expected just to fall in line and follow their perspective. Mm. No question their objective, but I got a lot of questions. How these kids molested, but nobody's been arrested. Read it in the testament. These children are protected, so I'm fighting all these terrorists, both foreign and domestic. Mm. Uh-huh. When mm. when did people forget that the kids and the children are the most vulnerable amongst us? Yeah. And yes, women and children are the most vulnerable amongst us. That's not to say men are better than women. Nah. They're just women are more vulnerable than men. Man, it's just, just too much truth to this. <laughs> it's when Yo. did when did it become a bad thing to want to be able to protect the ones that are more vulnerable than you? It's a damn shame this was never on trending. It's ridiculous. It's it's, it's ridiculous because of what they do. That this don't got a million views. It should. This should have easily over a million. Easily. This, anybody who comes up, please share the well, hell share out of this video. video. Like we'll we'll have the link of the original in the description. You know what? Share our video if you like our conversation. Yeah, this, this, need, this, this needs to be spoken like, about. Damn struggle. Because more people need to be having conversations like we're having right here. Yeah, more yeah. people need to come to the table and actually have the conversation instead of just start screaming at each and other. We're not yelling. No. Actually, we're probably more agreeing on more than anything yeah. this stuff right now, which is kind of weird. Sometimes Vito more right about something. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes I say like a bad statement. It's just because I'm brainstorming. You don't get everything correct on the no. first time brainstorming. But like... No. 
And like you said before, sometimes you do have a right to change your mind. Yeah, you do. Especially if you get new information about a about a uh, about a yeah. uh, situation or a person, you have the right to change your mind about that perspective of that per- a person. Because per- perfect situational going on that the L.A. situation. I mean, thank God that those two police officers are alive. Yeah, I saw the video of all that, man. What happened at that hospital? How y'all people gonna stand outside the hospital and and wish further harm to that? Go home, go home, and to sit there and tell the cops you're next. Bro, like, why? Nah. Like, what are you doing? That's and people wonder why people are losing more and more faith in that organization like, every what single are day. You doing? I can't respect that organization at all, and I haven't ever respected that organization. Like, Set out. That's like standing outside of a person who just got has like a deadly disease mm-hmm. and goes, "Oh, when are they leaving? Like, when is it? Like, you just don't do." Oh, uh, and for reference, no, we're not afraid to say the name of anything. We just have to be careful how we word things because of how things are happen on YouTube. Yeah, we're just so you if know, we if you we don't if you it. think that we're dancing around something because we're, we're afraid to say no, we're not afraid to say it. We just don't want our video suppressed. No. We're just going literally and yes, going by God. It's ridiculous that we have to dance around it. Yes, before anyone says, "Oh, you shouldn't have to." We know we shouldn't have we to. Should, but we, we, like our, we know we shouldn't we have like to. Our channel. We, we don't want to lose anything that we built. We we like our channel, guys. We work very hard. Just wanted to, <laughs> just wanted to clarify. Yeah. People are like, "Oh, look at that! They're afraid to say something." No, no, no. we are not it's afraid to like say in, anything. It's kind of like in the Tom McDonald video when people like some people thought I was afraid. To, it's. It's, I'm not afraid to say it. I just like what I do. Yeah. <laughs> and I want we to we enjoy it. this and we want to actually get bigger. And again, exactly. we want to make sure that we can have a platform that we can actually have something yeah. to bring people together. We want this channel to be about bringing people together. Yeah. Not driving hate and trying to keep that separation going. True. But go ahead. Go ahead, struggle. Just to fall in line and follow their perspective. Don't question their objective. But I got a lot of questions. How these kids molested, but nobody's been arrested. Read it in the testament, these children are protected. So I'm fighting all these terrorists, both foreign and domestic. Refuse to be directed. Lying out of sheep. Only kneel to my God, so I'm dying on my feet. Mm. Only kneel to Yo, my God, because I'm dying some, on my feet. This got some gangster rap in it a little mm-hmm. bit. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Because I've said it before, no man should ever kneel before another man. You should never drop to your knees before another man. No, no. I, for one, will never drop to my knees before another man or woman unless I'm asking for her hand in marriage. That's the only time I'm kneeling before a woman. I am not bowing down before no man. In my opinion, there's multiple ways to show patriotism just like there's multiple ways to show respect. Yep. To me, I, I, I get people's both perspective on kneeling. Um... I understand. I get the military doing, perspective on it. I understand it. Doesn't I mean also, I have to. You, I, just because I understand it doesn't mean I have to like it. Yeah, I also like. To me, kneeling just want to clarify. Can be like a symbol of. Can be a symbol of respect. Just in my opinion. But again, I, I understand. In, in it's it's the symbol of respect to the Almighty Lord. I, I that's true. I mean, you kneel when you pray. Yeah, that's like, exactly what I'm getting at. So that's why I will never kneel before another man. I mean, I mean, people kneel. Someone gets injured in sports, but I feel yeah. like that's a different situation. Yeah, that's kneeling for a sense of respect. Yeah. you're not kneeling to you're not kneeling to the person. You're kneeling as a sign so of respect. respect. Yeah, so like, yeah, it's uh, it's like okay. it's like when you take a moment of silence because true. of something that happened. True, true. See, guys, we're not. Our, there's, there's no yelling. No, we're we're it's having a conversation here. Silence when we speak, but there's violence in the street. I've been rolling with the punches, I can't take it on the cheek. I mm. drink from a glass half full, I'm optimistic. People are sadistic, so vicious and malicious. Mm. Praying for assistance to overcome my position, or I'm gonna start resisting and then I pray for forgiveness. Oh. Mm. Yo, the uh-huh. words uh-huh. that struggle, he's using big ass words. Yeah, he in is. This song. <laughs> he was gonna lie. Mm-hmm. But he's right, though. You're gonna push people to the point. Where they're going to start defending themselves and they're only going to ask one thing for forgiveness. You're just going to have chaos. I mean, if you know, I showed you an article earlier where they, somebody, somebody got their house was surrounded and they arrested the homeowner for defending his house. That should not be happening in this country. We're allowed to defend our property, our person. A mob should not be allowed to show up to a home, threaten them. Have a guy defend himself. Yes, he might have pointed a, a shotgun at him. 
I, I just but think, a man should be allowed to defend his home. I just think one of the biggest issues is you got people. The, one of the main problems right now, there's nothing wrong with the protesting. No, there's don't, nothing wrong with protesting. Don't riot and loot. Rioting my, and looting is not protesting. But here's my whole thing. Protesting becomes an issue when you have people who don't know what they're protesting. Yes. You, you know what a protest is? Go back and watch what Martin Luther King did. Yes. When he yes. marched all the way through Alabama to get to D.C. I see the way some of y'all be talk. I see the way some people be posting their their protests or their walks on social media you're not doing it because you care you're doing it because you want the likes yep. and the share that's all they're doing that's it for the fall. that's why you're doing it no. so like when I was, if you don't protest know what the hell you stand for Rosa or, Parks was a protest like know what you know what you stand for or you just looking stupid yep. in the street you're embarrassing yep. yourself but you're also embarrassing your family yes I hope you that's actually one of the core values my parents raised me. Yep. If you're gonna do something in public, not only are you embarrassing me, you're not only are you embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing your entire family. Yep, you're Which embarrassing you everybody that has your surname. And that thing about dancing with the devil, that's difficult because the, 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 the devil's just, it's in more than just one. Like it's He's not, always that, it's in temptation. It's, yeah. that, it's leading you down that path of destruction. Like, the devil comes, it's not just one. No, the thing. devil it's comes not, in all like, forms. Like, say for the water, no, you got water falling. Multiple people are evil, man. Okay. Yep. That temptation, just ain't the whole people world. are always trying to pull you in to get you to think their way. Yeah, the, the, the devil is always trying to make you go down the wrong path. Nah, man, I, I just mm. so, it's a lot harder to stand up again and go against the grain than it is to follow the mob. Eh. It is a lot harder to stand on your own two feet in your yeah, own I, core belief system than it is to follow. I get it. Being independent is hard. Yeah, it is, it's easier to conform. Yeah, it really because it's safer in yep. a way. It, conformity is safer. Yep. It is. You feel safe because you got other people with. It's hard to be on your own. Yep. Yo, she's singing this hook, bro. Yeah, she is. That is a soulful voice this right there. Singing this hook, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, she's right. Some some people do need to have a god in their life. They some do. people need it. Some people, again, they need to have that fear of damnation. Because if you don't have that fear, you have you have you don't have that respect. You go out there and you mm -hmm. don't care about putting a putting a guy on the ground like Daniel Dorn. You don't care about going and burning somebody's house to the ground. Also, you can be agnostic or atheist and still be a moral person. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, There's you can. A, you can still know right from wrong mm -hmm. and not believe in God. It yep. is possible, people. It is possible. Just because you don't, just because you don't have a face, this doesn't mean you're a yeah. terrible person. That's not what we're getting at here. And there's every good aspect from each religion. If you believe in multiple, that's mm -hmm. fine too. I'm not like you believe in what you believe in. But again, there's some people that need to have a god in that's their true. life. That's true. I agree with that. That's true. It's guidance. Because without it, they have exactly they have no guidance, guidance. and they don't know it's which a, way to turn. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because quite honestly, we need to stop being the pu let people be the puppet masters, and people need to start thinking for themselves. Independence is key. You got to cut those puppet strings and start moving for snip, yourself. Snip. Mow them. Listen, mow your grass. Don't sit there and have a belief system just because it's the popular thing to yeah, have. Yeah, don't do that. Don't follow a group just because it's the popular thing to do. Where, where did I hear this quote? Everybody's every leader. 
before every leader is a leader, they were a disciple first. Yeah. Yo, he's singing this shit. This puppet show stays on because of you. I like how she just this let pu- him rip. Dude, this but- puppet show stays on because of you fools. Yeah. Like I said, some of y'all believe anything, man. <laughs> like, you, you pay attention to the bars in this because they're speaking directly yeah. to people. I'm I'm really glad she he just let her like she's just mm-hmm. ripping with the vocals on. Yep. It. I'm glad because like do your thing. A beautiful voice, oh, beautiful no. voice. That's a nice deep solo career. Solo. Oh yeah. So so get it. Listen, EP. I'll listen. Mm. <laughs> Respect, man. Mm-hmm. This is good. I'm about to download this song. Mm-hmm. I like this. Put A lot of people the, need to listen to this. Put this in the playlist, man. Dude, a lot of people need to pay um, attention to this one. You know, let me just say, like... Oh, she got her own music stuff. Yep. Okay, don't mm-hmm. have, you don't have to check her out more. Okay. Um, let me just say, like, a lot of y'all people who were showing up to these homes or you showing up in the streets or you showing up to hospitals whatever it is and mm-hmm. you chanting all this aggressive crap and all this hatred and you you flipping people over flip, pushing cars and all this I'm trying to tell you one you, you're doing this because you think ain't nobody gonna respond or ain't nobody gonna retaliate mm-hmm. one day you gonna come across the wrong one and they're not gonna be playing games with you yeah, but it's already it's already happened a few times like it's so, already happened a few times some of y'all talk so much shit because you don't think anyone's going to say anything back to you or anyone's going to show up to your front door. you going to... Well, Ian, the problem is like, that some of these groups feel like that you shouldn't be allowed to defend yourself. Like, I'm trying to... Like, you shouldn't be allowed to have property. Like, some of you... I'm and that's wrong. Watch, watch this. And it's citizens. It's, it's, it's everybody. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all talk such a big game and then... Either one, you get mad when someone actually strikes at you, or two, you can't back nothing up. That's why everybody. November third is going to be a big time. It is. I ain't it's gonna going lie. to be. It's a big one. You need to get out there, and you need to go out there, and we everybody needs to go out and show up and vote. 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 Don't be. And know who you're voting for. Don't just vote down your ticket D. Don't just vote down the ticket R. Know who you're voting for. Also, don't be coming up. Don't sit at home. Watching everything on the news and everything and on social media, and then if the person you want, if the person who you don't want wins, okay, that doesn't mean you get to go out and ride in the streets don't and burn things down. Oh well, did you vote? Well, no, I didn't. Yep. Vote. Don't complain if you didn't vote. If you didn't go out and vote and didn't put your voice out there, you got nothing to say. Like, don't just don't do that. That's that's you look. But stupid. at the same time, if the person that you voted for does does not win, that doesn't give you the right to go out there and burn people. Places and nah, business to the man, ground. Nah. That doesn't give you the right to attack people based off of who they support. If somebody up your neighborhood, okay, up the street from you supports a certain candidate and you don't like it, don't talk to them. Simple, simple, as, that. simple as that. You can be cordial. Hey, how you doing? You ain't gotta have dinner dates with them. And if you, and if they were friends of yours before, if they can't have a civil conversation with you, or you can't have one with them, then just go your separate ways. Sometimes you just outgrow people. It happens. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but again, losing friends over political beliefs—that's I don't believe yeah. in that. That you should you should not be losing somebody that you've been friends with your entire life, yeah, because they have a different political leaning than you. Whew. 
Guys, we know this was a long one. We know this was a tough one. Some of you guys are probably not even going to agree with what we yeah. had to say. Wait, what, and that's okay. That's wait, okay. You watch the whole video. We respect you. We respect you, you for guys for staying into the end. If you scroll through, that's cool too. Do your thing. But uh, and I think uh, we also mentioned before that we were going to make, thinking about doing a GoFundMe. We think we've uh, kind of settled against that because of what they stand for. Um, we're thinking of ways to try because we've had a few people reach out to say they want to donate and help us out. Um, we're trying to do it the most peaceful and the most simple way for everybody, right? Because I, you know, shout out um, Articks. Yep. Someone just tried to rip him yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. So, we're, we're trying. We're trying to make. We're, we're trying to make it so people aren't wasting anything, yeah, and no, so, we don't want nobody taking nothing from us as as we get yeah. bigger. We don't want nobody scamming you guys. We're trying to get. The, we don't want any complications, so we're trying to get this perfect. And so just get it worked we, out. we honestly think that the best view we're going to have to do is probably going to be Patreon. Yeah. So we're going to be working on trying to actually get that going so it can actually be posted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we gonna, know it takes time. It's only us two doing this, guys. That's right. It's we, 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 we don't have any help. It's just no, the two of us. We're no doing... Extra, we do all the production for this, mm-hmm. all the voice, all the social media. We run all of this together. This is... It's just Ian and I right now. We hope we get bigger yeah. so we can hire people. Yeah, that's cool. our, that's our goal. That'd be dope. Our goal is to actually provide an opportunity for people. Yeah. yeah. We'd like to actually become a bigger channel. That's yeah, why we want to keep adding different content. I'm fine if someone else get Like, if someone else getting success... It don't mm-hmm. mean I'm not gonna be. Successful. No, I'm fine with people getting theirs, man. I'm good with that. And I'm you, good. As long as you're putting the work in and earning it, go get it. Yeah. Nobody should be handing you a damn thing, though. Nobody's handing us nothing. Y- yeah, no one handed us a thousand. We we. We're out here putting the work in, putting yeah, the videos man. in for you we, guys. We always, guys, thank you. I see every every day the mm-hmm. subscriber count is going high. We appreciate so thank it, you man. all. Thanks, thank you, Blake Nation. All of you that step up and are showing yeah. lost love, that come up and hit that subscribe button, that share, that like, that comment. For real, man. For real. You guys are you guys are unbelievable. Guys, it's the United States of America. Honestly, it's the beacon of light for the mm-hmm. whole damn world. Yep. Like if you really think you got, you can't think small minded anymore. You got to think the bigger picture. People from all over the world look for this country as a beacon of light. Because remember, if America falls, the world burns. Like, this is... You got some people say, oh, other countries got free... Cool, if you want to say another country has freedom, that's your belief. America is the is the most freest. I'm yep. going to say... Do it I, is the... Like, everybody... Other countries got their rules. I'm sure there's freedom speech out the... I don't know. I only lived in America. Because right here, right now, in 2020, there is not one law that says I can do something that he can't do. There is like, not one law in this country that it says just that. It sucks that you got some people who try to put their personal beliefs into the law system. Exactly. Which, that's one of the main problems. Mm-hmm. People put their own bias within the law system, and that shit ain't right. Exactly. But, guys, like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. Y'all know what to do. Thanks for stopping in and spending some time with us today. Thanks for rocking with us, hopefully, to the end. Yep. Hit that notification bell, and hey, we'll see y'all in the next one. Later.